Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, something, something, something about sheep. NZ Pills is a 5.1% Pilsner from Wolverine State Brewing Company in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Wolverine State is, as far as I know, the only lager-only brewery in the state. Now, if you know of another, let me know in the comments down below. But this is one of their newest released lagers, NZ Pills. Pilsners are a subset of lagers, just like an IPA is a subset of the kind of general ale classification. And I don't have this on authority, but it's named NZ Pills because it's hopped with Nelson Sauvin hops, which is a hop varietal that comes from New Zealand. I don't know if you'll find too many Pilsners that are hopped with Nelson Sauvin, so I think that makes this one a bit special. And when I saw this was released, I was really curious to check it out. Nelson Sauvin is known for having a bit of a white wine fruitiness, which I think of as being a little bit pungent, as I'm not a wine drinker, but I'm looking forward to trying this one out. So let's take a look at the label, and we'll do like we do, and we'll get this Pilsner into a glass. Fun fact, New Zealand has the southernmost vineyards on Earth, and their white wines are famous around the world. So we're gonna take a look at the label uh, across the top. You'll, you'll notice at the top, it says Michigan's All Lager Brewery, Wolverine State Brewing, NZ Pills, and it has a picture of a hop cone and like a silver silhouette. I think it's really cool that this label is kind of like a matte gray finish with a lot of silver writing on it. It reminds me of almost like a Mass Effect kind of font on here, and it just kind of pops, makes it pop, and makes it look a little space age. And on the bottom, it says brewed with 100% Nelson Sauvin hops, alcohol 5.1% by volume, IBUs 28. And then as you turn the label around, you see that uh, they got a 2018 silver for the American style Pilsner in the Great American Beer Festival. And that is, uh, that is in Denver, Colorado. And then on the side, it has a really has this picture of New Zealand with all these kind of stars around uh, the, the country of New Zealand and a little kiwi bird on the bottom. And it says, brewed and bottled by the Wolverine State Brewing Company, 2019 West Stadium, Ann Arbor, Michigan, 48103. And that's actually really convenient that it's 2019, isn't it? And then proudly brewed in Ann Arbor, Michigan. You can find their website at wolverinebeer.com. And of course, features a certified Brewers Association Independent Craft Beer logo, a product of the US of A. So I'm going to grab a regular kind of, uh, I believe this is a nonic pint glass, and it's a little bit better than a shaker, hopefully, and uh, it's a Pilsner. So we're just going to drink it out of a regular old bubble, kind of a bubble pint glass, you may know it as. And there is, before I crack this, there's no brood date on this. Uh, I don't see any kind of brew date information, any kind of bottled can, any kind of date on here, or even like an expiration date like Rochester Mills does. But let's crack it anyways. I'll put a nose directly on the can. So, I'm not getting much of an aroma out of this. Maybe just kind of a, a general lagery kind of smell. And lagers are, are, they're fermented a little bit cooler. So lagers kind of have this, um, kind of iconic smell to them. They smell, to me, smells a little bit kind of uh, a little dead. Not a great smell, but they have a, a kind of a, all have a general kind of scent to them. So let's pour this. And that is really bright yellow out of the can, collecting in the glass. Whoa, splash a little bit, a little orangey. Uh, but that's kind of to be expected with lagers. They're a little bit of a browner, kind of orangey uh, color. Pilsners are like that. You can get Pilsners that range from really golden but but thinner, or you can get this kind of brownish, orangish kind of color. Head is really small, maybe about a half a finger. Maybe it got to a finger's worth at the very kind of peak. And holding this up to the light, yeah, it's it's got that kind of lagery, pilsnery kind of trademark color. Very clear, very clearly filtered. Uh, not a lot of sediment. There's a tiny bit of sediment floating in there, and there is some streaming carbonation up from the bottom. Let's put a better nose on the beer here in the glass. I'm getting a little bit more of a sweeter aroma than I was getting out of the can. It's There's a little bit more of a full-fledged kind of aroma in there. It's got a bit of a honey kind of scent to it. And a little bit more pronounced directly out of the glass, and I'm ready to dive right into that, so cheers. Very biscuity, very crackery, kind of malty taste on the tail end. Uh, it's... 
I'm getting a little bit more of the hoppiness coming through on the tail. When I almost said, I'm not getting a lot of hoppiness, but as I kind of, the aftertaste is where that, that Nelson Sauvin really pulls through. And it is kind of a, a grapey, white grapey kind of flavor. It's not as pungent as I normally get from Pilsner's or from Nelson Sauvin. I usually kind of associate it as being pretty pungent, but this I'm actually getting a little bit of that, that grapey, white winey kind of flavor on there. So true to form. Definitely easy drinking, very crisp, very cool. Mouth feels a little bit on the more medium end for a Pilsner. Pilsners I usually think of as having a lot lighter mouthfeel, a lot crisper. But this has the sweetness up front, a really slight kind of honey sweetness up front. And then it, you know, you take a, a, the, the swallow and that's where you get a lot of more of that malty, that bready, crackery, crisp maltiness. But then on the tail end is where that bitterness starts to shine through. It kind of pulls through on your tongue. And that, that honeyness on the beginning also kind of mixes a little bit. You get a little bit of that white wine, kind of grapey, white grapey kind of flavor on the front end too. More of the sweet kind of grapiness on the beginning and on the finish, you really get that on the aftertaste as the as your tongue kind of dries. The, the, it's a little bit dry on the tail end on the finish and that that's when that fruitiness, that grapiness, that, that sweet kind of white grape flavor kind of comes through a little bit more. 5.1%. This is the perfect time of year for this kind of beer. Lagers, Pilsners, that kind of stuff. When it gets really warm, they can be really crisp, really refreshing. This is a, has a little bit of a twist on it. I was ex Again, I was expecting it to be a little hoppier, a little bit more pungent, but it's that's there's not a lot of pungent pungency in this beer. It's it's really smooth. It's really, uh, really crisp. You get a lot of crispness, very, cr not crispness, but crispness, and it's refreshing. Um, yeah, so you get that sweetness, that honey sweetness, that grapey sweetness on the beginning, and then you get a little more of the bitterness, but a little bit more of the grapey kind of um, fruity, not, not necessarily fruity, but a little bit more of the bitterness, a little bit more of the kind of I don't know if it's like, I would consider it almost like a cross between a piney and a citrusy kind of bitterness on the tail end. But this is a great warm weather beer. And again, we're really starting to finally warm up here. It's it's in June right now. So hopefully it'll get a little bit warmer and uh, this will be something you'll be able to enjoy a little bit more. And I'm not sure how much you're gonna see this on shelves. It was released once, I think, last year. And I think it's kind of a seasonal thing. Uh, I looked on Beer Advocate, it was one of those things where it was like a limited once release kind of thing, but it popped up on shelves again. And this was just put on shelves recently. So you might be able to find it in your local beer uh, bottle shop. If they have Carrie Wolverine stuff, Wolverine States beer, you might be able to find this, but it's a really great warm weather beer. And it has a lot of that kind of sweet, grapey, and honey flavors on the beginning and a little bit of that crispness and a lot more of that grapiness on the tail end. Really a different kind of Pilsner, not, it just has a little bit different flavor profile that maybe you're used to, but it's a, it's something that you could easily drink on a warm weather day to get refreshed. All right, friends, that has been NZ Pills from Wolverine State Brewing. If you find yourself in the tap room, mention you saw their beer right here. So have you had this or do you have a favorite lager? Maybe something a little bit out of the ordinary or maybe a favorite Pilsner that does something different than all the other guys? Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, if you like beer, you might wanna subscribe and click that bell to get notifications because I'm here talking about beer twice a week, mostly Michigan beer, but I'm gonna start mixing it up and it's twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and it's all free for viewers just like you. And you might miss your newest favorite if you're not subscribed and getting those notifications. Also, I wanna start incorporating your questions. So if you have any kind of beer questions or any kind of questions in general, uh, I wanna get your questions into these episodes so you can leave any kind of questions you have on the Draft Therapy hotline at 224-DRAFT20. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. And remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries wherever they are, and most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little Draft Therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.